Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jen from BK and here's what's hot on Hot 27 Now. Forget Air Canada, let's talk about Air Drake. He just reeled his own newly renovated massive plane that's as big as my house. The plane can stay in the air upwards of 12 hours. Can we talk about goals? Hey, if you have the money, why not? I'd do it too. Drizzy can take his new plane to wherever the Toronto Raptors are playing, which I'm sure he will. We gotta talk about that crazy game seven last night where Kawhi Leonard hit a crazy buzzer beater to win the game. Was it Kawhi that made the Raptors win? Or was it Drake rocking the Philly jersey last night? He posted this video to his IG story after the Raptors win. You know him and his infamous curses. If you don't, pretty much any team jersey Drake has worn, they've lost the game. So I see what you did there, Drake. That was smart. And I see what you did, Daenerys. Last night, HBO aired their second to last episode of Game of Thrones, and you know I have my theories on it. So if you haven't watched it and you don't want any spoilers, just fast forward this part right here, okay? Danny did what I hoped she would. She brought Armageddon, Fire, and Fury to King's Landing. More beloved characters died, but what I was most upset about was how Cersei and Jaime went out. They could have went out a whole different way. Cersei should have been roasted alive in front of Danny, and Jaime should have died in battle, not in a pile of rubble. Now back to Danny bringing the apocalypse to Cersei and King's Landing. Some people were upset she went mad like her father, but come on guys, really, we should have expected this when her brother was killed, she didn't flinch. That witch in the pyre, she didn't flinch. She roasted the guys in Marine, the Tullys, and it goes on and on. Sis had it in her from the jump, and she's already lost half of her army. Her best friend, her advisor, two dragons. I mean, what do you expect her to do? Man, do you, Daenerys, do you. And finally, the big question everyone is asking, will she die in the final episode? Hmm. We see Arya staring at Danny in the trailer for the final episode, and Melisandre did tell her she would close blue eyes, brown eyes, and green eyes. Green eyes equals Danny. I don't know, to be honest, we already know what will happen, and that is Danny will not sit on that Iron Throne, not after what she did. Why? We were shown this in her vision when she was in the House of the Undying a couple of seasons ago. Danny was walking to a destroyed throne room with what looked like Snow, AKA Jon Snow being the rightful king, but that's for a whole nother day, with Snow on the ground, but, now we know it was really Ash, and she never really touches the throne when she reaches for it, which signifies she is not going to sit on that Iron Throne that she wants so bad. But will there be an Iron Throne after all this is said and done? Drop your comments down below and let me know if you think Danny will live in the final episode airing this Sunday. I cannot wait. I am geeked out for it. And congrats to at Annie, E-R-D-N-A underscore, Ebro in the morning announced she won four floor seat tickets to Summer Jam. You are lucky girl, I wish I did. Via our social media contest this morning. So make sure you follow us on all social media platforms for your chance to win. And if you want more Hot 97 now, subscribe to us on YouTube or any social channel below. Plus go to hot97.com for the latest news. I'm Jeff from BK, bye.